What is going on, people? So I noticed a lot of y'all like the sub lab review that I did by FAW. So what we're going to do here is some sound designing, and I'm going to show you how to get that Pierre Boron like bounce with your 808s using sub lab and creating it from scratch and how I do sound design. So first, let's go ahead and play the demo beat that I made or whatnot, which will probably get laid out. And then we're also gonna talk about like other tools that people were trying to present over this one and why I think this is far more superior for many easy reasons to tell you guys. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and hear, you know, the Zaytoven slash Pierre Bourne 808 that has that bounce. So I'm playing it over here. And you'll notice something. Uh, you'll notice something about this 808. Now, if you look at the top middle part of the screen, you'll see my oscilloscope, and then you'll see like a certain waveform shape. So that certain waveform shape looks like a square, uh, kind of rounded off as a sine wave. So then we're just gonna go ahead and select new real quick. Now that we have investigated that, and we're just going to start from scratch. So, uh, from right here, uh, you have control over a couple of things. You have a, a synthesizer area, which, where you can select your synth sound. Then you have your ADSR, and you just go ahead and get into volume, because that's the main thing we're going to have to adjust. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select a square wave. And then from here, from selecting a square wave, we're going to go over here to the volume envelope and we're gonna adjust it and make it smaller because if you keep it up here, if you keep the, the ADSR up here, then the 80 is gonna sound very continuous. Ow! <laughs> so the next thing you need to do is drop the octave, holy crap. So dropping the octave will help <laughs> in this regard. Now you 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 can hear how big the air the weight is, but make sure you're in the volume. Uh, turn it down a little bit. So you're turning down the sustain. You can do it uh, via here or here. I just like to do it on here, you know, because you can. Then you start seeing the shape change. And from here, then we're pretty set uh, from this point. Uh, the next thing you want to do is adjust your filter and make sure that it is a low pass filter. And you can adjust the filter by going on this point right here and, and then adjusting it here. But there's another thing that you might have noticed. It's not adjusting anything because you have to assign the filter. Now that we assign the filter uh, to the waveform, uh, the process can start. And we're like halfway there already. Look. And, you know, we can go and just further adjust it until we get close to the... And that other part of that, you'll, you'll notice... A little something too to that uh, original Atoven or the Zaytoven Pierre Born 808. So now that we have that, uh, there's other things that you can implement in here. Uh, one thing I didn't touch up on in the review is how to use the X sub because I didn't really know how to how it worked. So the X sub does bypass like your distortion and your compression because it piles up uh, your lower frequency harmonics right here, either odd or evenly depending on you. So, you know, you can get in here and just make whatever you want, however you want in this freaking. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that. Mm. 
let's go ahead and play that with the track here real quick so we can get some context to it <laughs> Here, you know, uh, by using Sublab, you get, I actually did some really crazy stuff with it uh, in terms of my 808, and that's with uh, messing with this curve over here. And you know, I I don't know, is this something that has to be worked on? I don't really like, but you can mess with the pitch. The the pitch is over here. I'm gonna go over here to uh, the filter section, and well, not the filter section, but the pitch section, and we're gonna try and lessen the amount. Of that pitch that weird bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> that's actually kind of cool now i actually kind of like that rubbery bass because it's giving something different than most 808s do but anyways another thing that you'll notice about this uh 808 um that is there's a sample in there there's a little bit of a sample like the original creator combined a kick with the actual sub bass itself and you can see that represented in the oscilloscope. So, you know, make sure when you are listening to that, uh, if you do have that 808 or whatever that you want to create and, you know, make a little further in here, uh, that you do check that. Now, I'm going to try to find a sample that works the best for me. I really cannot remember what I used. So, uh, you know, bear with me here. So, I'm just going to use a tech standard. Now, there's an apparent problem. And... If you listen to the 808 again, you can hear that the sample is dragging. There's a delay. So there's a delay feature inside of Sublab. So, you know, you can just. Uh, also, I just want to mind uh, to keep in mind and tell you guys that you do have uh, other things that you can do with that uh, kick sample or whatever you want. You can adjust it to wherever you want, you know, start at endpoints or how far in and out or, you know, in meaning the fade in or in, in the fade out, wherever the fade out is. I'm fine with the way it is. This track button will play it melodically with it. So, you know, it'll, it'll go up and pitch. If you're playing a high C, it'll play that sample at a high C. So that's what that means. Um, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and actually add the sample in here. Uh, that's where you go to the mixer and add that. And you can actually hear it in here, uh, but also you can adjust the fine uh, tune about it. You know, I guess like semitones or whatever. Because uh, for some reason, root note and, and octave, it doesn't really work for me. It doesn't sound very good. Uh, it's, it's, it depends on the sample. <laughs> yeah, yes, you can. You can adjust the impact of it and also just... Uh, maximizes the sample or whatever so you know you can do whatever you want in that regard so now that we have that uh in there you know you can just, you're gonna add whatever you want uh so you can add the sample to the filter uh, sometimes i just add a little bit of it because if it has a weird kind of feel to it i, I might want to filter out some of the higher frequency content <laughs> And it gives that 808 a thud. I had... hey. You know what I'm saying? So with that, you know, you could do other things as well. Um, again, going to this mixer, uh, implying a mixer does help with the cause of how your 808 is going to be mixed, as well as the compressor too. So uh, what I'm going to do is just go to the compressor real quick. And then I'm going to add some threshold to it. Uh, the compression compression is very key to what you do. So, you know, you might want to do 100% or 50% or whatever. I think I might just do, uh, I might parallel the signal. So I can get half wet and half dry. And, and 
here's and here's the 808 with the compression off and here's with the compression on and yes you can adjust the ratio I, I find it this right here is fine uh, cool with me one to one or two to one uh, it, or or in old school ways like four to one is pretty decent um, but you know it just depends on you sometimes the vibe might not work that way and then if you're losing anything out of it you can add more gain to that and the best thing about this is it does tell you in real time like how loud it is so you know you can keep that in there also last but not least distortion maybe we don't want to do distortion in on this i'm kind of fine with this i find that dark drive uh, gives a different kind of characteristic to it uh, make sure that you assign that actual 808 uh, or your actual synth sound inside of it uh, either 100 percent or 100 percent So that's with it on, and then this is with it, with it off. As you can see, it's knocking. It's also distorting the shit out of, or clipping the shit out of my damn console over here. But, you know, if you have any other questions about, like, making 808s and stuff like that, now, you, now that you hear we got that bounce to it, the, oh, before I close out, Boy, oh boy, how to save it. Now, all you have to do is hit the save button, and I definitely want this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, you know, I'm going to add this to my 808 collection that I'm working on. I'm going to call this uh, Future. <laughs> this is MG the Future's calling me right now. <laughs> future MG. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. I appreciate y'all.